Welcome to your weekday cup of the word. We're in Proverbs chapter 18 on this Monday morning. And Proverbs 18 contains a variety of odd proverbs, ones that kind of make you go, hmm, what does that mean? Uh, verse 1 deals with the idea of it's foolish to isolate yourself. You know, when things are going well, we don't think we need anybody. But the problem is, is that things never continue to always go well. And there will be a time when you need others. Uh, verse 4 talks about the idea of, of a wise man being deep waters in a bubbling brook. Those seem like two separate things, but the idea behind it is, is just like if you came upon a, a really deep pool of fresh water or you came upon a, a, a living water stream where, where fresh water was flowing, so is a wise man. His, his wisdom is constantly renewed and it gives him depth. He's not a shallow person. There's, there's a lot of real uh, sincerity and authenticity to him that goes below the surface of the water. Uh, verse 6 talks about how a, a fool speaks and his his foolish words are, are just inviting trouble. That foolish people tend to say things that cause them problems. And so wisdom also works the opposite way. A wise man uh, tends to say things that alleviate problems. Verse 14 explains that there is a difference between physical sickness and, and broken heart, uh, heartedness, emotional sickness, we might say, and that you really the easier to bear is physical sickness. If you had to choose between your body not working right and your soul being downtrodden, really the easier of the two is, is the physical uh, trauma. And then down about verse 18, it talks about the idea of casting lots. Now, casting lots is... is we think of it like dice throwing or um, where you would take and draw straws, that same idea. And it talks about the idea of casting lots, ending a quarrel. The idea behind that is, is when you roll the dice, it's completely unbiased. Uh, when you draw straws to see who goes first, the idea is you take emotion out of it and you make it fair. And that whenever we can do something that shows people that we're fair, and not being biased in a disagreement, that can alleviate the quarrels. The chapter also will talk about things like pride and the, and the power of the tongue and other topics we've already visited before, but those ones in particular are odd proverbs that you can kind of get hung up on, and we wanted to take a little bit of time to address those. So hope that is helpful. That's your Daily Cup, and we'll see you tomorrow.